Welcome back to Just Your Stories. My name is Eric Cantona, and today we're at Uderu Kiambu County, joined by Faith, which is not her real name, to tell us her story. Faith Abarigani? Okay, now what will the story? As you have heard, my name is Faith, no, um, from Uderu, that is in Kiambu County. I'm the first. I'm the first born. My sibling. I have only one sibling. Uh, sorry, should I say my, my age? Yes. I'm 20 years old. Okay, Faith. Um, do you mind t telling us your story? Uh, it was in 2009 when my mom got. She was really sick. So. Uh, as because we have come from, we came from Meru County, that is where we were. They had separated with my dad long time ago, when I was still a young kid. So she was sick. She's in her mother's place. Aka, akakua, akua, ame rejecti wa nakila mtu nyumbani. No one wanted to take care of her. So, at the age of nine. I was the one who was supposed to wash her, clean her beddings. I was the one who was changing her clothes. I, had, I, I didn't have to go to school because no one would have taken care of her. And still I had to take care of the, my younger sibling. So, for like three months, then on, on a Tuesday morning, she called me. She told me, Precious, sorry, she told me, Unajua mimi, my time has come. I want you to take care of your sister uh, because I know I won't be long with you guys. I want you to take that responsibility as being the firstborn. And later on, akakuja kachukuli akaenda hospital where ata akufika, so she passed. I actually, I didn't, that by then I didn't know mtu akikufa, what is to, iyo kusema ati mtu amekufa ndio kusema nini. Nobody told me that mama me pass. Nobody wanted at a. Nobody. Akuna mtu alikuwa nataka kutuambia. So I heard from elder village when you were kujia ile ile matanga zioni. Akasema ome pato na msiba and that is when I knew from any ni kama aliyekuwa na address the crowd. So then mimi ni kaskia from that place. Ili iyo kitu ili ina ni traumatizing hadi wale because. Ata in iyo siku ya mazishi, nobody told us, as in ni vile tu unaona watu zile vile wanafanya ile shimo kuchimbo. Na pia still iyo kitu ine, ineza kuwa inanisumbo because one of my uncles alikuja akanichukua at the age of nine akanipleka mochere. Akanambia siyo mother venyana lala pale. That is how utalala ata utafikisha 24 years. At still, akio iyo kwa burial, Mam, I'm a illet kamba. No joda time to look at him. Shone illet kamba. I could just say, these children of the dead woman, when Afa was chukui or kamba, I met him. Shame, Mama, I was jinyonge now. Since I couldn't am to a corner, shuguli now. Nani attend now? So one of my aunts, I could just tell her, "Go can I see see?" Of which, she could just tell her, "Go can I see see?" She wanted to use us. I could, I met to chukua. We have been living with her for ten years. Akatuchukua. It, I, I don't really like talking about Mbona ali tuchukua because even we don't know the reason, but uh, tumeteseka sana kwa nti. Watuto wake walikuwa wakubwa wetu. Sisi tungetoka shule ni sisi tutawasha vyombo, tuta do everything and they have been in the house. There is a time ata tungekosa kukula just because of a small mistake. Tungechapo vita ata inye haungeweza kwa muka kuenda shule just because you have made a very small mistake or maybe you wash a viombo or you didn't clean the house. So, but uh, for me, in I, li I, I liked school by that time. 
So the only place ningefine kama refuge ni kuamka na kukimbia shule. It didn't matter kama alikuwa anatununulia uniform there's a time even I could walk to bear food kwenda shule. At this time watu wengi wanajua watu wenda shule na viatu but for me I didn't know mtu anaenda shule na viatu. The at viatu zile ningeenda nazo maybe ni gumboots na ni zile umepatiwa labda na mtu of which ilikuwa hata ni shida sana ukipatiwa na mtu that gumboot ukileta nyumbani utaambia unaenda ukiomba msaada. So nime tumeteseka sana huko kwa anti. So venye ilifika time ya mimi kwenda high school, niliperform vizuri nikaenda high school. But venye nilifika form 2 ile school fees ikaanza kukosa. Ikakuwa na mashida na kujanga nyumbani na rudi na kuja nyumbani na rudi. Afu shida msiko napenda kurudi nyumbani juu wale cousins zangu walikuwa wanatuharaa sana. Every day ukiamka unakumbushwa huko sio kwenu. You have to find your place. So when I was informed to I came back home for mid term. Yeah, uh, yes, w when you were informed to and you mm. came back from mid term and then what happened? Yeah, I was in a boarding school. Yeah. So I came back home. Mm -hmm. uh, it was on a Saturday. Yeah. So the next day obviously is a Sunday. Mm -hmm. I said I want to go to church sababu mm -hmm. and tuna back shule on a Wednesday. Okay. So nita kani pumzike ni fui la uniform yangu so I, everybody went to church oh, everyone went to church except you except for me even my sibling went to church okay so there is this one cousin Samuel cousin alienda akarudi after everyone went and i'm in the house i was reading a novel yeah. akakuja akaka the next seat akaniambia eh, there is something i want you to do for me nikamuuliza nini akaniambia since ulingia high school umekuwa yani umechange your way of living umekuwa msafi you've been a beautiful girl kama hiyo ndio kusema nini i've never been told that by anybody so as in nikashun nikaona ni kama mimi as in and it was the first time mtu ameniambia kitu kama hiyo so nili nilishtuka nikamwambia mimi na vile mimi najichukia mimi naanga kama i'm that worthless nikamwambia hata kuna wasichana wengi tunasoma nao na ni warembo sana kuniliko akaniambia hapana hebu ka vizuri nikupige picha nikwambia mimi sipendangi kupigwa picha juu hata kwa kio sijiangali yangi so akatoka akaenda akarudi the second time akaniambia what i want so alitoka akaenda into another room ama uh, alitoka nje kwa kabisa yako na ile ile house yao alitanga ile kiza okay. aliteremka kwake akarudi mm -hmm. akaniambia chini nataka unifanyie it's a must na if utanifanyia ato unanijua akaanza kunexplain vile alikuwa ameshikwa akaenda shimo la tewa vile anaweza ua mtu so and he was I, threatening you yeah sasa alikuwa na nitreaten sasa mimi nikamuuza nini hiyo unataka mimi nikufanyie mm -hmm. akaniambia isi si unifanyie mimi nataka ukuje uende kwa nyumba yangu na akanichukulia ile knife Aka, mm -hmm. alikuja nayo alikuwa anapenda ku place somewhere in the belt oh, akakuja akaniambia if you don't you do this for me uh, I'm going to kill you na nikutupe kwa ile shimo ya cho na hakuna mtu atajua kwenye ulienda hii utasahulika akamwambia sunaona hakuna mtu ameona nikiingia nikwambia yenyewe tuko pekee tu kwa this compound so i had to do what he wanted he because i'm in the 310 i was naive at that age i actually i didn't know anything about it so i i get to hata siku anajua hata hiyo venye alikuwa ananiambia nimfanyie kitu hakusiku anajua ni kitu gani anamaanisha so what was he threatening you about he wanted he wanted us to have sex and is like okay uh, and what was the age of your cousin at the time my cousin was almost 30 years at that time and you me i was 15 years by then years. Okay. yes we had learned we have learned all those things in school but no teachers how to elaze how to was it funza kila kitu so that is the first time mimi nilikuja kujua ati mtu anaweza unaweza Okay me mimi naweza ni defilement juu nilikubali kufanywa hivyo juu alini 310 mm -hmm. sio ile alinishika cha nguvu nilikubali kufanya vile alini ali 310 mm -hmm. so, ikakuwa mimi nikashindwa mpaka kwenda shule because it was so painful nikakataa mm -hmm. shule hapo hiyo tu hiyo sana nikakuta nikasema i'm not going back to school i didn't tell anyone vile kuliva it how it happened juu after it happened he kicked me out of the house 
Oh, so you would never told like your I aunt never told or your anyone sibling. that time. I, because Ningambi, uh, my aunt was very what when you wanna kuanga hash kabisa. I want to know strict. So nili shundo ni tamambi aji. Ju ata ni mtu mo nyonyeza mambi buy me this. Akuleza unona wapi pesa. So unona ukienda kumu explain that what happened. It would have been very hard. The how I would have started that story. And we on the um tutu the last born of my aunt. Nani the ni ule um tutu alikuwa na penda sana kwa iyo nyuma. So it was very hard. What about uh, did the aunt have a husband? Also? Yes. You you wouldn't have told the husband or the husband was also harsh. The, the husband now ni the extreme cases when ye yani mtu akiingia kwa nyumba mnaenda kulala hata kama mlikuwa mnapika mnaenda kulala nyi wote even the wife yani hakuna mtu angeongea angeongea naye in the in that house okay. okay and then so what happened after you said you're not going to school well walijaribu kuni force mimi nikasema sitaenda na nikakataa kabisa so mm -hmm. wakani wakaachana hakuna mtu alijaribu hata ningeongelesha tu na mtu ninge break down niende nijifungie mahali nikae huko singetaka kuongeleshewa na mtu so mi ikakuwa ni habit mimi nakaa nyumbani it was on october by then mm -hmm. hii sasa nimesharudi sasa hii kwa october nikakataa kuka nikakaa sasa nikaambia juu next ungeenda ufanye mtihani ya kufunga shule at least next year uende form 3 mimi nilikataa kabisa so nikakaa nyumbani the, 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 this was what year it was in 2015. Okay. Vinye sasa vile ni hiyo habit ya kukaa nyumbani tena ali sasa the next time alikuja kaniambia remember it was on November sasa akakuja mm -hmm. tena it was second of the November. Same, the same cousin. Eh akakuja kaniambia remember what we did I want you we do it this time. Na sita kwa mimi kuonesha hata njia kwenye tunaenda unajua where to find me. So mimi I the second time I did ju sasa wa nini ile ndio asini 310 ni si asi as in ile tu ile fia nifanye hiyo kitu iisha haraka ndio hiyo sasa nione nimemplease ndio sikuje kuni 310 later so i did it the second time only the, this second time i conceived sasa ata mi okay mi I, I that that day I knew kuna kitu there is something wrong with me vile tu nili feel there is something that is going to yani kuna kitu wrong mm -hmm. so nikaka it was on november nikaka december mm -hmm. january nika not there is something wrong with me na naogopa kuambia ku, sina mtu naweza share na yeye the rest of the aunties sijawahi onana nao hakuna mtu ashai kuja kututafuta so it was it was hard ku hata si kujua that i am expectant ju siko na ju yali okay kuna vile yeye alikuwa ananiambia yeye ni impossible hawezi kuwa ati uko expect oh, so at that you, age you actually t told him i told him there is something wrong with me and what was his reaction uh, there is hakuna kitu mbaya na wewe wende unafikiria hivyo hawezi kuwa uko hivyo mimi najijua yani vitu kama hizo that is what he told me and did you go to actually get a test I never went to get a test. Okay. I I, need you, I was afraid niende nipate the results so I kept it for myself. Okay. So with the time ukaenda hivyo tukaanza by the time by time tukaenda tukaanza kuwa kama almost close friends. Mm -hmm. To every day tunaanza kuongea ikakuwa kama ni habit tunaanza kujua tuko tunaongeana oh. tukaenda ikakuwa tukaanza kuwa marafiki. So you started conversations with him. Tuka, eh, tukaanza mm. conversations with him. But the conversation uh, it was like I, I wanted to hi and I wanted to feature what is, has been happening between us. Mm -hmm. That is why I started con is a conversation yeah. Na, yeah, yeah. only to hide what is going ju uh, pia watu walikuwa wameanza ku suspect. Okay. Ju huyu huyu mtu aki miss the other person and I miss at the same time. Okay. So nikaanza tis ile conversation kwa sababu we, uh, we are getting along. But that was not the case. Mm -hmm. So, all wakati nilikuwa three months expectant. So this is in February. Yes, no? it was February. Mm -hmm. That's the time nili you you kitu ikiyo mimi sumba sana nili yangu kwa soko ni kwa mina kwa soko. That is when I got my test, my first test, kujua mm -hmm. kama niko pregnant or not. Okay. Ju nilikuwa na muli mdogo so ata mimi si kwa na not, but I knew there is something wrong with mm -hmm. me. Sa venye nilienda nilipelekwa na watu hosi mimi mwenyewe mm -hmm. si kujua juu nilianguka tu mm -hmm. nikaenda hosi 
nikaenda nikaulizwa nataka nani apigiwe juni kwa hosi i don't have money na unataka nani apigiwe akuje i called my aunt nikasema auntie apigiwe okay. auntie akasema juu mimi si kwa nyumba nitatuma mtu wako around only mtu mwenye alikuwa around ni is the same cousin ndo alikuwa tu around so it's the same cousin who came for sasa ni yeye alikuja venye alikuja hospitali yeye mwenyewe alienda akaambia daktari nataka huyu msichana apimwe test fulani akauliza mbona akasema tu mimi nataka yeye apimwe hiyo sasa venye nilipimwa ikakuwa out i am pregnant okay sasa there is Okay. sasa vile mimi nilijua nilikuwa na self nayo nikaona kama ni, ni mimi mwenyewe nimejibitre nikajichukia sana is a time hata nilikuwa nataka kuia boat but ni sasa nikashindwa nitaenda kuambia watu wazi home hakuna vile mimi actually hata by the time nilipata mtoto mimi sikuambia mtu yote because it was very painful na ule uh, yeye ali aliniambia yeye mwenyewe aliniambia na mdomo wake nikijaribu tu niambie mtu yote ya yeah, atan alianza kuni threaten tena so mimi so, nilienda started threatening you siambie mtu ni siambie mtu eh ni hata nikiwambia nisimwambie mm. ni yeye inahusiana na yeye yeah. yeah. so hata ile time ile nilienda nikapata mtoto no one knew mtoto ni wake so uh, what about your aunt did your aunt alianza kuuliza maswali umekuwaje expectant It was only my aunt mwenye alijua juu nilienda mimi nikamwambia openly. Okay. And what so was I didn't tell reaction? her the first time. Uh -huh. Nilienda tu nikakati nikona hiyo kitu imenibother imenifika mwisho mimi nikaenda nikamwambia what happened. Uh -huh. But her reaction ilikuwa mimi ndio nilijitakia. Mimi mwenyewe ndio nilijipeleka huko. Mimi mwenyewe as a girl mimi ndio nilo lose dignity yangu. Uh -huh. Even though he so the cousin at her kujua kama the my aunt knows ama the her mother his mother knows. So did you tell your aunt that your cousin was the one who's threatening you ah uh, nilimwambia aka sasa mm. eh akarudisha back in time wakati mm. tulikuwa tumeanza tu, hiyo ku get along mm. akanunua na kumka time fulani nyinyi mlikuwa mnaenda hivi mnaongelea sana mm. alikusaidia hata house chores mm. nikamwambia eh akaniambia maybe hapo ndio ile mesa nikamwambia hapana i and i tried to explain i tried explaining to her but yeah yes ha, okay haku alichukulia vile alichukulia but at least what i expected to be chased out of the house hakuna mtu alinifukuza as in nilikuwa nafikiria nitaambiwa toka sasa uende hakuna mtu alinifukuza na nikapata mtoto okay so wakati okay. nilipata mtoto uh -huh. mimi nikaamua nitarudi shule the next year sasa mhm mm sasa ile ni aka meet kongene vizuri nikamwambia nitamwachia nikamwambia anti nitakuachia mtoto mimi ntarudi shule at least nitajitafutia a day school kwenye nitakuwa naenda okay. na akakubali mimi nirudi shule so, but what the most painful thing is mtoto mwenye nilipata mm -hmm. and i really don't like talking about mm -hmm. is alien alienda akafanana na ule kazini yangu kabisa okay. alienda akamfanana kabisa ile ile tu uki, hata ukimuona hapa na afu kazini yangu tokea hapa utajua mtoto ni wa mtu fulani mm -hmm sa it was hard kwenda naye hata kwa shop juu nilikuwa naona kama watu wananijudge kama watu wanajua what how it happened to me so no, no one ever inquired who the child's father is wali what wali actually i don't know how it happened but watu walianza kuongea huyu um, mtoto ana anafanana na mtu fulani sana huyu um, msichana hata sijui muona inje akiona akiona wa akiongea na watu nje ni mtoto msichana amenyamaza lakini huyo um, mtoto hata sisi tunashindwa kwenye ametoka okay And then the the other thing is go mtoto akarudi akakua it's like ako slow so mimi sing hata kule shule mtu watu wakijua niko na mtoto si kwa nataka tuongelee kuhusu mtoto ama ilikuwa painful juu hata shule ile ro na ka watu wanasema ule mama ile ro ya wale wa mama okay so uh, we're going for a commercial break and the story will continue once we come back Welcome back to Jicho Story. Today we are still in Udhiru Kiambu County. 
talking to Faith, not her real name, on how she tells us of how she was defiled by her first cousin. Uh, she was also defiled the second time, and this time she conceived a baby boy. And now she's about to tell us how she, she just fared on with what she has experienced. Faith, if you wouldn't mind, continue with your story. Um, so after after I went back to school, yeah, I uh, learned a few life skills. Shule, kusu maisha na what ha nika na na pia malimu alikuja there's a certain topic to lukuja kufunzo kwa life skills. Nika nika mo ayo siku nika nitaenda niyombe na anti angu nika na nika mukalisha chini and I called the cousin. Nika mo nika wambia. Whatever has been going on between me and Yeye has has to stop. Nani li maliza kitambo. Nani kama mbia ambia anti angu kwamba yomtu toni wake akiwa hapo. Na alienda kama mbia. Na ikakuwa at least imejulika na kutoka kwa mtu mwake. But all that time, ata niki pata mtu toa kuna mimi kitu acha ni saidi na yeye. Up to date, the baby is four. So say the boy is four years. I wouldn't say I've ever received even a single penny kutoka kwake. I've been raising that huyo mtoto single hardly. Hata auntie yangu siwezi kuambia alinisaidia kuniangalia mtoto by then ikiwa shule but I had to miss some classes. Niende nifanye kibarua somewhere kama huyo mtoto anahitaji kama ni nguo anything ama diapers mimi ndio nilikuwa one day na sacrifice na buy kitu inaweza last for a week ndo at least na mimi niweza kuji maintain shule. Eh so Mimi after ni memaliza from four, then apo sasa ndo niliambiwa na antiju mekua mtu mzima, we will have to walk out. Wendo utafutia maisha yako, we mtoto ni wa huku, utamuacha huku. So mimi... So they made you, wali wana kufukuza, but wana kuambia wache mtoto. Eh, nika wache mtoto, mi nika toka nika enda. Nika hustle my way out, nika rent place, nika, lakini niliache ni memuambia, mi the time nitajipanga mtoto wangu nita have kumkujia mm -hmm. so mimi nilienda nika in, ile tu niko najita kujipanga in that time nilipatana na nilipatana na mtu kwenye tuko tunafanya naye kazi mm -hmm. so the ju vile nimeacha mtoto nyumbani na mm -hmm. behind the stories aka tukakuwa best of friends and by that time if i would say sijoi kujua at boyfriend ndo kusema nini and i was 19 okay. it was last year yeah. niko 19 nasikianga boyfriend stories na watu mm -hmm. <coughs> sijui ati mtu anaweza ku approach ati akwambia ati nakupenda ama nini so vile mimi wao aliniambia and through the experiences like mm -hmm. sasa mimi niliona niko very lucky nimepata mtu ati ananiambia ati hata hadi hata nioa so i forgot nilikuwa nijipange mm -hmm. ni nilikuwa ati niishi maisha yangu na niendee mtoto wangu so mimi nikaolewa na wao mse Tuka, tukaanza kile chenye mimi nilikuwa nimebai kwa hao yangu tukaeka pamoja tukaanza kuishi pamoja the guy is the guy seems honest seem to honest hata hata wa leo mm. but ili ili sa the second ka conceive the second time only to please the guy ati sasa ju ilikuwa wili yake alikuwa anataka kupata mtoto so did the guy know you had a previous uh... I, I never told him because mm -hmm. even my friends si ambiangi hata watu wengi tukutana na mtu kwa barabara mimi si ambiangi mtu niko na mtoto niko na mtoto wa kwanza hata most people think the second baby mwenye niko naye ndio mtoto wangu wa kwanza mm -hmm. I really don't like talking about my first baby so I never told the guy mm -hmm. na kuanga na mtoto nyumbani so until to date have you kept in contact with the aunt or your cousin cousin mtoto you know sasa Okay, we, you know, I, I went back home and kachukua mtuto wangu. Because, kwa ule, ule, sasa kwenye, I would say the husband, kwenye nikuwa sama ati ya minioa. The time venye ilifika, mimi naenda kupata sasa uyu the second baby. Mimi niliona hasiwezi ka uko. Na, of course, nikienda usi lazima nitaulizo. Ukusha ipata mtuto mwingi, nivitu ka hizo. So, mimi nilitoroka. Nilitoroka ile kuogopa, ataona mimi ni memdanganya, ama... So, I ni kashiko ni ilo uoga. So, mi niletoroka ni kenda, ni kenda place hajui. Ni kenda tuko marafiki zangu. Wenye tuko tunafanya kazi now the first time before tukutane na ye. 
Okay. So mimi nilipatia mtoto huko na nikaenda home nikachukua mtoto wangu. Huyo wa first born na nika plan kujipanga kukaa na watoto wangu. So okay. after um mtoto huyo alifika 3 months nikaambia wale marafiki zangu I will go and rent a place for myself. So it was now this much mid March mm-hmm. nika monitenda ku rent a place mm-hmm. na nikapata a job somewhere. So exactly that date niliambiwa ni Rauke Monday. Ndio ndio sasa hiyo vinye covid ilikuwa ishaingia na kukafungwa. So imagine nimeenda nimekodisha nyumba mahali sijaingia na pesa. Nimeambiwa Monday ni Rauke job tena napigiwa simu na ambiwa hakuna vile utakuja job kama hizi wameambiwa kwa sahihi jua hatuna hizi hatuwezi hatu, kuna zile instruction wamepewa tuta have kufunga. Na nisha already nishaamua ita rent place nikae na nimeenda mpaka nikachukua sibling huyo wangu mdogo naambia tutarudi kukaa sisi wote pamoja oh, so you went back and you took your first born child and your younger sibling yeah okay so actually the times from ile times za kulifungwa they have been very hard ju siko na job niko na watoto sasa niko na tuseme watoto watatu ju hata huyu mwingine pia ananiangalia ju the sasa ilifika mali ikakuwa very hard hata kupata food na niko na watoto sina job nyumba ndio hata sijawahi lipa so mimi nilienda nikaanza kuwa casual labor nenda tu naweza enda yani kibarua yote tu nilikuwa napata nafanya na by then niko na mtoto wa 3 months na namwachia huyu sibling wangu mdogo nika nimeenda nime hustle nime hakuna kitu sisi only ndile tu mimi niliambia Mungu anisaidie Nilikuwa naamka nenda kwa nyumba ya mtu na mwambia venye mimi niko. Nikamwambia nilikuwa nimepata job mbali na vile sasa kumefungwa mimi sina hope nyingine. Nikamwambia it's a bad coincidence. Just the same day nilikuwa ni rauke job ndio tumeambiwa. Mimi nimeambiwa hakuna vile naweza enda juu hawa hata hawa waone wakikasa na juu hawaezi fatu hizo ma, hizo sheria na masharti yenyewe wamekewa. It's been very hard. I wouldn't lie to you. Hata kwa hiyo nyumba it was a 1500 house it's a small ni nyumba kidogo ya mabati but even the beddings ju mimi najua sikwa ati najua ni sharp like the beddings hakuna tulikuwa tunalalia gunia chini tukalalia gunia chini nika hustle nika, as in every money napata na jaribu kuiganisha every money umepata like 300 per day na uko na watoto wanakuangalia wanahitaji food na it's only not only food unahitaji rent kwa hiyo pesa unahitaji hata mahitaji jingine kidogo kidogo watoto umelala chini watoto wamegonjeka unawapeleka hospitali hauna pesa it has been very hard i will say it has been very hard so what about uh, the father of the second child has he tried t- to reach out to you he tried to reach out even that time i was in the hospital at least he paid the bills nilimwambia ni hospitali nikamwambia nitarudi but it's very hard kurudi na sijui mwambie ni kona huyu mtoto wangu wa kwanza and it's very hard to explain here okay in my part is very hard ni ende nianze kumwambia i was at nilipata huyu mtoto na my cousin and that time at for example same anataka kukuja kwetu he will still meet the cousin because uko ndo nimelewa so it is very hard that is what makes me at to square in contact at even up to date it's been five months down the line since the last time we talked okay so and you know i don't think maybe it's the guy aliniambia i would sit a continue kuko support ataka uko na mtoto wangu na sijui kama maybe uko 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 ume labda umeolewa mali pengine unanichezea not unless urudi hapa kwangu ndio ni ku support okay so uh, like right now what type of work do you do right now i'm ni ni majaribu a few ni me hook eggs ni me um, okay ni me hook eggs na plan kuanza a green grocer maybe but the problem now unaona ni capital but at least kuna msei a uh, kuna mtu ameofa kutupa aliofa na akatupatia nyumba even it's a nice place ametupatia so na anatusaidia sana okay. so the only thing maybe in the, the a little money to keep us going okay so right now the person who's helping you has found you a place to stay has uh, made life a bit comfortable for you and your younger sibling and your two children yeah Okay. So what has uh if I may ask have you been like seeing someone for help maybe a therapist kitukayo 
Like how have you been helped so far? I've never, I've never tried because I thought it's like exposing my problems. Okay. feel shy. I'm 20 years old and I'm a mother of two. Nikiangalia rika yangu wengi uko sana hata wengine hawana watoto. So naona ni kama naji expose but at least I think I will call mwenye mwenye sasa anatusaidia by now who is Bridget. Mhm. Mm Ndio anaita ngo Bridget. Mm -hmm. Ni yeye as in like he's like my therapist. Ana mm -hmm. ni train ku, ku at least kuongea juu before hata I met her sikuwa mm -hmm. naongea all ungeniuliza kitu I will break down in tears. Mm -hmm. But at least every time to na share, iyo nenda nikipata ile courage na kuona at least I don't have that strong story. Yet kuna watu wengi uko inje wakona wakona stories kubwa ata kuliko zangu. At least nianza kufeel kami ni mtu. So I think iyo iyo tu kuonge even without ile kusaidiwa ile kuonge a mi na ni saidiya in my part. So when how did you meet? Miss Bridget? Uh, I don't know if I will mention the name of a person who connected mm -hmm. us. Yeah. But the the lady is called Eva Kimani. Mm -hmm. She was a she was a friend of my mother, Kitamo Sana. Okay, before your mother passed. Yes, right? before my mother passed. Yes. They they were friends. So wakati walisikia tunakaanga mali fulani walikuwa walikuwa wanajua we stay with the auntie mm -hmm. but uh, one of her sisters i guess it's my sister in law mm -hmm. akamwambia na unajua wale wasichana wa mtu fulani wana wame rent place yao wanaka so akakuwa concerned akakuja kutuangalia mm -hmm. so akatupea story venye alikuwa rafiki ya mama yetu nikakumbuka nikakumbuka nikarudi nika nika back in times nikakumbuka yes mm -hmm. Ndiyo wakatu, akanyambia, I want to, to introduce you to a place tunaindanga, at least mm -hmm. tunashia tuna route mm -hmm. na watu. So that is how I came to know Bridget. Tuka, tuka kutana hiyo place wanaindanga. Okay, uh, Faith, mm -hmm. sa if there are any well wishes out there, what ninini ungetaka kuwaomba wakusaidie na yo? So, anybody out there, mm -hmm. me ninge taka kuwaomba eh, if my first prayer ingekuwa kama kuna mtu yote anaweza nisaidie vile naweza enda any technical college um naweza furahi sana any yani because i love books at least at least hata kama siku pass from four hivyo kitu yote tu at least kitu naweza sema nilifanya hii kitu nitakuwa proud of uh, even if it's a certificate that certificate and secondly, maybe, maybe for now, because hakuna, hakuna hizo place that tuneza enda kusoma, maybe even a job, at least I can support my family. Let me call it my family, because now I'm the head of that family. Okay. And still, mm -hmm. my younger sibling, I call Form 4. Yeah. So, kaa kuna vile hapia ya meza saidika, at least ile time shule zitarudi. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. You have had it from Faith, which is not her real name, her story, and you have had her wishes, her requests to any well wishes out there who would wish to support her in maybe finding her a job or giving her a job or even helping her to get to a technical college to gain some sort of uh, academic uh, education if you are there if you wish to help her you could just contact jicho tv and we will connect you with her so that you may help her whoever out there who feels like they may be of help to her that you may help her my name is eric antona and this is jicho stories <music>